What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Today I wanted to share with you guys five rush tips that I think are really important to know before you go through the rush process and things that aren't common knowledge that you would be like, oh yeah, like why'd you waste my time telling me that? I think these things really are helpful to know before you go through the rush process and they're things that I wish I knew before I rushed last year. And just a little background on me, I go to the University of South Carolina. I am going into my sophomore year, so I just rushed last year. We do rush in the fall semester at USC and I know some colleges will do rush in the spring semester but throughout all universities whether it be fall rush spring rush huge college a little college I think the layout of the rush process is pretty similar so hopefully this can help you guys and I think these will be great tips for you especially if you're rushing fall 2019 because that is coming up very soon but yeah let's get on into it Okay guys, the first tip is going to be bring an emergency kit on the days that you're rushing. And by emergency kit, I don't mean bring like gauze and crutches and everything that you could possibly prepare for to happen because hopefully there won't be any actual emergencies. But by emergency kit, I just mean having a little bag that has some things in it that might prove very essential to you throughout the process. Since I go to a large university, we have 13 chapters, so the days are very long, especially at first where you're visiting all the houses. And as you go throughout the days of your rush process, there are things that you definitely want to have on standby. Now these are things like mints because you're going to go have a conversation with a girl and you're going to be very close up. Mints are always helpful. You don't need to be stressing out about having bad breath possibly because that's not the impression you want to make on someone. And definitely mints over gum because gum can get aggravating very quickly if you're trying to have a conversation with someone. I would also have perfume and deodorant if you need it. It gets hot and sweaty especially in the fall. So those three things will keep you freshened up. You also might be given a booklet for Rush and that's what my university does. In the booklet it had all the sororities listed out that we had and it had things like how much their dues were their colors different facts about the sororities and the point of having this is so when you would leave a chapter you could make notes about your experience something that stuck out to you because after you're going through a really long day you're not gonna remember every single person you talk to more than likely you won't even remember a key part of every conversation because you're gonna have multiple conversations they're gonna get jumbled in your head and you want to be able to write down things that stuck out to you so you can use that for reference later so definitely bring a pen with you to write down things and if you aren't given any sort of book bring your own bring your own little notepad and write notes it'll be super helpful and this was a really big thing that I wish I had brought is little towels to like dab your face with a little cotton pad or a tissue or something to blot away the oil as you sweat and you're not sweating because you're like nervous or running around but personally for us like we were standing outside so long and it was like 95 degrees so you get sweaty very easily and then you're trying to be very presentable to these people you don't want to walk in like hey guys like it looks like I just ran a marathon <laughs> because I'm sweating so bad so before before you go in the house or the room or wherever you guys are rushing if you're gonna have to be waiting outside at all I would definitely suggest getting some sort of blotting strip or blotting cloth just to keep that oil off and to keep your skin and your makeup looking how you want it to brush tip number two this might kind of shock you a little bit and I don't want this to come off the wrong way but my second tip is that outfits are not that important not kidding probably sounds a little bit insane but I wanted to put this in as one of the tips because I feel like this is the number one thing that girls stress over and it completely makes Makes sense like I wanted to have super cute outfits and I want to make sure that I looked good and I'm not saying to show up in a trash bag because you definitely still want to look like you care to be there and you're interested but in terms of preparing for rush outfits are definitely I think the number one priority that girls put on their list everyone feels like an outfit is either going to make or break them and I think the most important thing about this is to find something that fits the round if you're supposed to be dressed up wear something that is a little bit nicer because that's what the round is calling for but don't spend hours and hours and hundreds to hundreds of dollars trying to find the absolute perfect thing because in the end your personality is going to say a lot more about you than any outfit would and outfits are definitely a way to express personality and I'm not saying you shouldn't totally go for it and look super cute by saying they're not that important I'm just saying that to tell you to not stress so much about what you physically have on your body and more about the conversations that you're having with the girls rush really is about girls that you click with and they don't care if you're wearing a black dress or a red dress or a design designer dress. They really just care about the conversation they have with you and whether or not that they think that you would be a good fit in their chapter. Rush for me was really not as judgmental of a process as I expected it to be. And you definitely want to wear something that makes you feel comfortable and present yourself the way you want to be presented. But really don't sweat over finding the perfect dress or the perfect outfit like it's prom or something. The girls that are rushing you will probably pay a lot less attention to your outfit than you even think they will. Wear something that's going to make you feel comfortable and confident so that you can enjoy the conversation that you have with the girl which is the most important part. 
Okay, the third tip is something that you might know, but if you don't, I think this is really important to realize. And this is that you don't have full control over what sorority you're going to be a part of. And this might be a little surprising, but it really goes both ways. Sororities are voting on you and you're voting on them. Just how you are going to vote and rank the chapters that you see yourself in the most. The chapters do have a say on what girls that they think will fit really well in a sorority. This can get kind of misleading because sororities often promote themselves. Like you have the choice if you want to go to Chick-fil-A, unless it's Sunday, but you can choose to go to Chick-fil-A but sometimes you won't get invited back to a sorority that you may have wanted to get invited back to or vice versa you might get invited back to a sorority house that wasn't your favorite this is all about girls finding the chapter that they are going to fit into best and to avoid sugarcoating it there might be times in the rush process where you feel disappointed I got dropped by a few houses that I liked and I thought I had good conversations with but it's really about finding your group and hopefully you'll see by the end of it where you end up is where you were meant to be but I did want to be transparent in this video and let you guys know that it is a two-way voting process and you might not always be invited back to the houses that were your favorite but don't take offense to it it's so relative to that one conversation you have with that one girl from the sorority so don't overthink it too much the fourth thing that I think is important to know is to take advantage of your Pi Chi group or your rush group at my college they were called Pi Chi groups but I've heard them called a bunch of different things if you don't know what Pi Chi rush groups are the best way I can think to describe it is like you're at camp and you have a camp counselor and then you're a camper and you have all these other campers and that's your kind of group for the week or however long your rush is more than likely there'll be one or two leaders of your group that are girls that are already in a sorority at the campus the thing with your pi chi's or your rush leaders or whatever they're called at your school is that you do not know what sorority they're in even if you try to look them up on instagram facebook whatever they're told to keep their accounts private and remove any sort of affiliation that they have with their sorority to prevent bias for example if my leader's name was sarah and i absolutely love sarah and i knew that Sarah was an alpha 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 I would be inclined to maybe put that at the top of my list because I really like Sarah but that's obviously not what they want to happen they want each girl to find the chapter that best suits them without any sort of bias attached to it but after that brief explanation of what a pie cut group actually is a big piece of advice for me is to make friends with the other girls that you might not know in your group my school's so big that my group was about 25 to 30 girls and I honestly knew none of them before I went in I had literally just finished moving into college and then we had rush stuff that night so I got thrown into this group of like 30 girls that I didn't know on my first day of college <laughs> especially knowing that you are going to spend time with these people throughout the rush process everyone in your group is in the same boat rushing for the first time not really knowing exactly how it's gonna go so I think it is very 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 important to form relationships with those girls in your group it's going to make your experience a lot better and to finish this all up my fifth and final tip would be feel free to ask questions and by asking questions I mean feeling comfortable asking girls in the sororities questions that you have about their chapter and what they do This is a really good way to get a feel for the chapter and find out some more specific details about what goes on And I think this is important to bring up because I think going into rush a lot of girls expect that they're going to be the ones that are questioned Maybe about why they chose to rush why they chose to go to the college what their major is where they're from All the basic stuff like that and sure those are things that will probably come up But you can also as the person rushing ask questions to the girls in the sorority Ask them things like what their favorite event was the past school year or why they joined the sorority A lot of the sororities are going to do similar things during rush Obviously they want to portray a good image and asking questions can really help you get a feel for what the differences are between the sororities Does that make sense? And you can figure out what sororities offer things that you are going to really enjoy and be interested in So definitely do not be afraid to ask questions at all It's not weird. It's completely normal and you're trying to find the chapter where you fit in best That's the purpose of the whole process. So set yourself up to figure out out where is going to be the best place for you and yeah that's going to wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you're watching this and you're going to rush soon i hope this helped and good luck with the whole process it'll be totally fine if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate if you leave a like down below and subscribe it would help me out a lot and i would really appreciate it i will see you guys in the next one bye